Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus read for you guys. You had the highest viewership last week, so I will be doing your bonus read. I hope you guys are doing well. I do want to remind everyone it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it for someone else. And remember that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. As always, guys, don't try to force a storyline that is not for you. All right, guys, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of cancer? All right, Cancer, you're starting out with the King of Swords in the reverse. You have the Fool, and you have the Two of Pentacles. Interesting energy. All right, so I can see you're embarking on something new here, um, but there's a little bit of angry energy I can see. For some of you, you may feel that someone hasn't been completely honest or truthful with you. Somebody may have been juggling. They may have been juggling you or someone else, or it could just be that um, something has really pissed you guys off. You have found your balance now, and you're now embarking on a new journey. I think I'm more interested in what this new journey is for you. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in. Thank you. <laughs> The Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, well, somebody's matching your energy. All right, we have the King of Cups reversed, and we have the Three of Swords reversed. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could also be a water sign. That would be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody here has, they're feeling very hurt, they have, they're healing from that. If there was somebody that had put you in a situation where they were juggling you and the other person, um, that's ended. This person is no longer entertaining someone else. Um, I do see that the two of you are kind of a little pissed off with each other. Um, this is a, it's either a karmic person or this is your, your perfect match. Um, if it is your perfect match, the two of you are just pissed off with each other. I will say that the person in your energy, and I think we've seen this several times, is going through a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle. Now, they do have feelings for you, but they're definitely holding back on those feelings. They're not expressing them for some reason. They're, it's like this person may have built up a wall around themselves out of either being hurt or being angry or both. So let's see the energy between the two of you. The world. Mm. Okay, so there's either a cycle ending or this relationship is ended. Neither of you feel unhappy about that. Both of you kind of out of sorts about it. Um, or if it's not the relationship that's ended so something new can begin, it's a cycle within it. So let's see... Um, Let's see what's affecting this. It's a lot to keep, but I was told to keep them. All right, we have the Nine of Cups reversed. We have the Hierophant, sign of Taurus. And we have the Five of Cups. Interesting. Okay. So the Hierophant is about commitment. This would be a commitment that um, either this person is involved with someone else or they were, because I'm not seeing that now, but there's a, a commitment here that is affecting this connection. It could be that you were desiring a commitment with this person because whatever this is, it wasn't what you wanted. It wasn't what you, you didn't get your wishes here. And I feel like that is what made you feel upset or angry. And that is also what is causing you to now embark on some new beginning. The person in your energy 
they're feeling sad. They're feeling really sad, really upset. This person is angry, sad. They're hurt. They're very closed off. But at the center of it all is another, it's either this commitment or another commitment. So let's see your outcome. Three of Cups. Neither of you happy about the way things are turning out right now. And again, if there was third party energy, that is over. That's done. But I just feel like there's a lot of emotion here. But neither of you are happy about how things has turned out. And in the very center is this commitment. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. This is underlying energy, and it does tell me, Cancer, that you are being very patient. You're kind of waiting to see what's going to happen next, how things are going to turn out. So, let's see why this King of Swords is in the reverse. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords reversed. And we have Judgment in reverse. Yeah, I don't feel like you're talking to this person. And I feel like you're not even willing to give them another chance. It's the energy I'm getting here, Cancer, is that you've turned your back here. Let's see why the fool is here. Yeah, you've been very hurt as well. You don't trust this person. So we have the King of Cups in the reverse. It, it is. It's like you're turning your back on this person. There is love here for both of you, but I get the feeling like you're not even trying to see what's going on with this person anymore. I don't feel like you're trying to express yourself with this person. Um, you're moving into some new adventure here because I, I feel like this person has really hurt you quite a bit and you're just not willing to go down this road again. Two of Pentacles, we have the Five of Coins reversed, and we have the Four of Cups. So this person might have come back into your energy, but I feel like um, while you notice that, you're noticing that, and you may want this person back in your energy, some of you, um, but you may feel that it's just a no-go if they're still juggling you and someone else. I don't see that happening. I, in their energy, what I'm seeing is that they are not, um, if there was third party energy, it's no longer. But there's something about a reconciliation. You may have weighed the pros and cons of this, of coming back together with this person, but ultimately decided that this person couldn't have noticed you in the first place. It looks like you're saying, I don't, I don't think you, I'm going to notice you now, you know, because I see you kind of turning your back here and not really willing to give this another chance. Let's look at their energy. Why is the queen of swords here? This person may have taken too long to get their act together. Okay. We have the ace of cups reversed. And we have the Eight of Coins. Yeah, they want to they want to put the work in. Some of them, their their coping mechanism with this ending of this cycle, this ending of this connection, is to throw themselves into work in order to deal with this loss. Because this person actually does have a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions with regard to you. But I feel like they they're working and use it, you know, working on their money and working on, on at work in order to avoid this. Underneath it all, both of you are a little bit angry here. They may have tried to work this out and you were like, mm -mm, I don't think so. All right, we have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely working on their money. It's like uh, their energy is saying, if if I can't have love, then I'm certainly going to have money. They want a new beginning, though. I feel like this person is sad because this they tried to bring commitment, but I feel like they may have been too late. 
Why is the Three of Swords in reverse? We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Emperor in reverse, sign of Aries. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Page of Pentacles. You. Oof. Okay, so this person is trying to heal themselves and I do feel that they're actually trying to heal this situation. If you haven't heard from them, you're going to but I feel like they're being very controlling right now. And I feel like uh, the reason they're controlling is they're upset because they feel that you have turned them down. And if you haven't, you will. Um, why is the world here? Why is the world here? Oh. Five of Cups. You're sad too. Three of Cups. Yeah, you're sad that this is ending. It's not like you're happy about that. Um, but I feel like uh, you feel that this there's no way you're going to give this person another chance. I do feel that you're not currently speaking with this person and you're going to hear from them. But I don't think that you're going to be, you're looking at what happened here in the past. And I feel like you can't quite get past that. It had something to do with third party energy, whether that was another person or that could have been even work for some of you work. This person could be a workaholic or it could have been some other situation. This person, I feel like they're kind of partying right now a little bit too, but I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing it in a bad way. I do feel like they're leaning on friends or getting advice from friends. And I feel like they are going out because they're unhappy. They're just very unhappy at how things have gone between the two of you. So if they're not working, they're going out with friends or hanging out with friends. Let's see. Um... We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. And we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, they really wanted success in this connection. Um, this is a single energy and it's at the center of the reading. So I feel that you're both now single. I don't know if this person was in the past. For some of you, they were, and it was some other, um, like, situation, work, or some such that was possibly even friends. It, for some of you, it could have been friends of theirs that were giving them very bad advice. But either way, I see both of you being single, both of you working on your money. You're both would be considered very um, eligible people to date. I can't, that's not very nicely worded, I guess, but um, yeah, you both are in this very independent single nature. So a cycle ended between the two of you because you didn't get, you didn't get what you wanted in this situation. And so you've drastically pulled back. I feel like you wanted to work this out. You wanted to have a new beginning with this person but at the end of the day, it looks like the behavior hadn't changed or there was something that made you say, I'm not, I'm not doing this. So you're kind of turning your back on this. You're saying, no, this isn't what I want. It could have been to this person. What they offered you was not adequate. They may have offered you something that was just too, too limited. Like maybe let's be friends with benefits or Either way, you're you're turning this down, and I feel like you're not even checking up on this person. You're kind of turning your back on this situation, and you do have a new beginning elsewhere of some kind, whether it's just with you, you know, doing something that you love to do. I, I don't know, but there's some sort of new beginning here. It'll be interesting when we do your monthly to see what that is. 
Now, and you are showing up here as single. On their side, they really wanted to have success in this connection. And I feel like they're sad because it's not going the way they wanted. And it's causing them to kind of shut themselves down. I do feel that they're they're very focused on money right now. Very focused on their money. Uh, let's look at your outcome. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. Chariot in reverse. And that is your the sign of Cancer in the Major Arcana. And then we have the King of Swords in the upright. Okay. So, it there may be a reconciliation that wants to come through. Because I do feel like this is just not completely over in spite of what is your energy up here is saying. I feel like this person's going to come forward. They're going to they're going to dogmatically pursue this connection. And I do see you feeling attracted to this person. Whatever it is that they're going to do is going to catch your attention. And it's going to make you kind of pause and and reconsider it cuz I see you kind of balancing out things, trying to decide what you want to do. Um now, at the end of the week, I don't see anything happening. I see it being more or less kind of stalled. And both of you in this energy of being very single. However, they are getting their energy straight. And they are approaching you in a more honest manner. This person may not have been very honest in the past. So, it could have been the way they approached you was not appropriate. It could have been dishonest. It could have been... Um, very controlling. It's either their way or the highway. But you rejecting them has made them say, oh my gosh, you know, I really have feelings for my cancer. And they're not happy that things are not successful. So I do feel there's been a period of time here where they've poured themselves into work. They've talked to friends. They've gone out with friends. But nothing is replacing this connection. So as they heal, you're going to hear from them. I don't see it moving forward in the next week. But there's something that is wanting to move forward here. It's kind of stuck. But I feel like that energy is changing. And it's a, it's changing because this person is healing. They didn't like getting rejected but it looks like that's probably exactly what needed to happen for them to kind of come to their senses here. Whatever it is that they are bringing towards you is a higher level of energy. And it is going to catch your eye. They are coming in more honest. And that's, that's definitely a good thing. So, bottom of the deck is the Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, if you've been waiting for communication from this person, you're going to get it because that speaks, that's underlying energy. And it speaks to having pulled back, kind of gone within to find answers, to figure things out, to gain some understanding, and now ready to reemerge. You've been very patient here. And I feel that a lot of you are being patient with communication, but also with healing. As this person heals, and they are healing, you're going to see a change in how they approach you. And that's what's going to catch your eye. Interesting. All right, let's, um, let's see if we can get an oracle card for you. Because it looks to me like you, you guys have, you know, you've got to the point where you're like, enough is enough. And you're you're done dealing with this. And as soon as that happens, this person freaks out. And here they come. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, we have number 39. And it says, and is it lonelier at night? Oh, 
Interesting. Okay, let's let's read that. Just a second, Cancer. At night, we become strange as moonlight. Too many people have starved for solitude and silence and intimacy with the self. Without solitude, without self-knowledge, without the str uh, stranger self, we cannot love another or know them truly. Others are not our saviors nor is their role to fill the space and silence of night or day. We must do this first by entering the void of night and bringing it to life. In this way, we will have something worthwhile to share along the way. The dawn will come, but let the night's peculiar light illuminate the wild world that resides within you. When you do this, what was once unseen will reveal itself and share the road with you for a while. Yeah, that's interesting that this is coming out with the hermit in reverse. Because I feel like you guys have done just that. You've kind of gone within. You've spent those lonely nights. And I do see that you have done a lot of soul searching. You have gotten yourself very familiar with you. You've sought answers and you've gotten them. There's wisdom that's coming with this card as well. If you notice the owls... And owls are depicting um, wisdom. Wisdom, there's three owls in this picture. One sits on the shoulder, one is about to light on the hand, and the other is incoming. Which to me would indicate, you know, the past, present, and future. So I, I think that you guys have done a lot of that soul searching and maybe it's time for this person to do the same. They may have gone through a dark night of the soul. Okay, Cancer, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you um, have resonated with this reading in any way, please hit that like button. And also be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Until I see you guys in your monthly reading, which is coming up soon, namaste.